Hi guys. It's Dominique. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Today's guest is <laughs> Girl. Oh, my name. I'm AB. I'm her cousin. My little cousin Aries. Today is a sip video. I'm way behind. First, before I open it, this is called the Witching Hour California Red Blend. They have two versions. This is the Red Blend Original, and then they also have a Dark Red or a Deep Red. Both of them retail for less than $7. There is no twist off cap. They are both um, corkscrews. Can't hold the bottom so. Okay. All right. Pregnant women shouldn't drink. 21 and up. And it does contain sulfites. And this is 13.5% alcohol by value. Mm. Bottled by Witch and Hour Vineyards, Livermore, and Ripon. California. Repon? I don't know. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's a basic red. Yeah. It's definitely not no sweet red though. No, it's not. Not at all. But it's not like very dry either. It's it's sweet enough to like be that. able to drink it, but it's not like really dry where it kind of like <gasps> it's very cut. Yeah, it ain't. It's not bitter. No, but it's kind of. It's kind of like is a, though. Kind of bitter, but not like it's still sweet enough. It's That's not like a, a Chardonnay or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like, or a, a Marlowe. Or yeah. No. Yeah, it kind of got like a a really semi, very low-key sweet aftertaste almost. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. sweet. Because don't get me wrong, there is a little bit of dry type of wine. You know, because I get Marlowe a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's like, then the sweet comes in, and it's kind of like, oh. Yeah. Okay. I can, yeah, I can drink bad. this. I can drink it. Yeah, I, I get it again with comparing those. Yeah. Because I'm curious to see what the deep red tastes like. I wonder if that one's That one's dry probably dry. very dry. Yeah, that's probably super dry. Very dry. See, I don't like... If it's going to be dry, I'd rather it be a white. A white. Dry. Very not dry. red dry. Because it's gross. It's like... It ain't bad, though. This kind of tastes like... You know, smooth. Grape juice at wine added to grape juice, yeah. which when I say grape juice, I mean like a concentrated grape juice, yeah. And you cut it with something very something dry, else. yeah. And it makes this. It ain't bad. I'm getting like grilled salmon with this, like a dish. You know, for chicken. They say whites with whites and reds with red. Like it's for meat. the best, the best pairing, and to bring out the flavors of the wine, mm. and you know, obviously desserts uh -huh. with the dessert wine. See, I don't like dessert wines for real because they over, they overly too sweet. Some of them. Sometimes, if I wanted some sweet like that, I just have some cake because it's just too sweet, like in liquid form or some Kool Aid. <laughs> I don't like super sweet. I guess it just kind of depends. It kind of depends on like your mood. Yeah. Your mood for the day. I think so. It ain't bad for seven dollars. No. Not at all. No. And it was at Total and Wines. It's, and a, more. it's, it's a, a nice size bottle yeah. too. Yeah. I'll show them the bottle. I don't think I showed them. Oh. Yet. It's supposed to be uh, October. It's supposed to be like spooky. And I feel like the witching hour where that was spooky enough because yeah. I was coming up very short at Total Wines and more. Usually I can rack up, but I found that last minute. Mm, I love Total Wines. Mm. Remind me not to go on a Friday because it's too many people. Yeah. It's too many. But the only thing about Friday, they got the open bar. 
They got the bars. No. You can go around the store and take, like Sam's Club with the samples. Oh my goodness. But it's with wine and hard liquor. Yeah. You will leave out there lit. Lit. How am I supposed to get home? I didn't ball this wine and drink. <laughs> you be sitting in the car trying to get your yeah. mind right. Open bar, not open bar, but like test, taste. Taste testing bars, like 12 of them. Right. As soon as you step in, hey ma'am, would you like to try? I tried a peach, a peach ginger hard liquor, and there was some other stuff. They be having a whole bunch of tables. Mm. That's the only reason I go on Friday. On Fridays. Oh, mm -hmm. right. Well, we should do that one day. Go, go after work on a Friday? No, we should just. Because I can take off, you know, I, I will take <laughs> off whenever. I'll take off whenever. I had to see, cause I was supposed to be on quarantine. Like, I'm, I'm about to just want to see my best friend. Oh, okay. I'm like, now? No. <laughs> yeah, <I'm telling> <laughs> it's too late to no. tell me. That. No. Uh, when I come back from seeing my best friend, they supposed to. They, they told me I had to quarantine. But I, I didn't expect this to be sweet, but I didn't expect it to be so dry, even though it's not that dry. dry. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's kind of dry. It ain't bad though. But no, it's not. Sometimes I mix the dry reds with like juice, like you said. Yeah. Just so I can finish the bottle because I hate yes. wasting my money. Yes. But, so let me know if you guys try this wine. Again, I found it at Total Wines and More for less than $7. They have two different blends, a red blend and a deep red blend. Both of them, same price point. Both of them are so thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Again, October is supposed to be like a spooky wine type of month, but honestly, I don't know if they're gonna be like a theme, like <laughs> really spooky, cause I'm kind of having trouble finding wines that are kind of piquing my interest for this month. I have this one and the next, what next week's wine is called The Devil's Velvet. It's another red wine. We'll try that one next week, so stay tuned.